getting set up. There we go. Hello, guys. Look, y'all should feel real special because I actually did my hair for y'all. This is the first time that I have done my hair, so it may be sticking up some funny ways because it hasn't been straight in like two months. But yes, so here we go. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna wash my hands. That's how we always start off in the kitchen. I'm washing my hands. Um, but I would like to thank you for joining me. And of course, thank you, Discover Atlanta, um, for helping to promote this and put this together. Uh, we are cooking today. We are in my kitchen, and we are going to make a really yummy um, caprese pasta. Well, it's a little, I don't put mozzarella in it. We try to eliminate like dairy and meat and kind of, you know, do some seafood sometimes in the house. So we're going to use vegan cheese. I know people are like, ew, vegan cheese, but trust me, it is so good. I am an absolute foodie, and I don't believe in food that does not taste good. So let's just start with that. You may hear the little one, we're really at home, the dog barking, it's a lot going on. But if you are enjoying this, we're all doing this and kick off to Camp Kizzy. This is my 10th year um, with my nonprofit. We do a completely free summer camp in the summer for kids. Um, and hey Munchkin, and this is our 10th year. We're gonna do a virtual camp. Um, in July when we normally do our camp this year. Uh, however, we are going to do uh, an actual in-person camp this fall. So you can text to donate. Um, you go to 7070. Um, 7070 is what you text Camp Kizzy, K-A-M-P-K-I-Z-Z-Y to donate. Is it three seven O's? Okay, sorry, mom just saying, I can't, can't hear y'all. So it's 707070, so it's three of them. 70, 70, 70 to donate. But we are gonna get started um, right now. Go. They wanna know what you're cooking again. What I'm cooking, okay. Yes, my love, I'm making some pasta. It's a caprese pasta. Um, Mommy. Yes, my love. Okay, listen y'all, don't be talking about my baby hair because we in quarantine, so she still has on her pajamas and stuff. But when mom, when babies want mommy, you just have to, some days you literally, I cook just like this. And she's almost as big as I am. Hi. You saying hi? Hey. Do you like going to Camp Kissy? Mm -hmm. You do? You yeah. like what she, Ella, I always joke because she's going to grow up thinking she has 72 sisters, a million and 40 aunties, right? You have a lot of family, don't you? Mm -hmm. I only put girls that can't kiss you, are they your sisters? Yeah. <laughs> Can mommy finish this pasta? Are you hungry? You want some pasta? Okay, let mommy finish cooking pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, go get your step stool. She's going to get her step stool. This is how we, we do here. So, all right. So, now that we've done that, let me wash my hands. Okay, we're back. Are we back, Munchkin? Come right here. Come right here. Here, you can stand, Ashley. Here, we got to stand over and wash your hands first, okay? Wee. So, let's get over here. Get up. Let's wash your hands. Okay. Here we go. There's some soap on there. You got it? Wash them good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's easy to All right, hold on, you're getting your hand, your stuff one. All right. All right, you good? All right, all washed. Dry them off. ATL Discovery, Amanda said thanks for joining us and thanks for joining us. Oh, ATL, thank you for having me. All right, we're going to give this a quick stir back here. It's looking really good, and then I'll pull it. I'll pull it out so that you all can see what it's looking short. Hey, hey, hey! Don't do that, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So, do you want to help me with the shrimp munchkin? Okay. So, for the shrimp, can you what? Mommy. Hmm. Can you do the shrimp? Do you have a favorite chef or cooking show? Um, a favorite chef <laughs> or cooking show. Let me see. I like watching all of them. You know, G. Garvin has been an amazing mentor in this business for me and like helping me along the way. He's been so generous with information and you know all of that. So yes. Okay. What, what's happening? You want to help with these shrimp? You want to help with them? Okay. So we have some large shrimp that were previously frozen that. 
all I did was just put them in a little water and sit them in the sink and let them defrost. These are a go-to for me that I keep at the house because whether you want to fry them, whether you want to put them in, you want to, what do you want to do? Get okay, you can get some shrimp. You get the shrimp and hand it to me. So they're already deveined, and but I still usually I got shrimp. you got shrimp. I usually kind of like to cut it a little extra I just to make shrimp. sure there's nothing going on in there, and we're good. Got you got the shrimp. Okay, so Ella has given me another shrimp, and um, I take the shell off and just leave the tail on. Just I like it because it kind of holds its shape a little better. I know it's random, but it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's turn the tomatoes down a little bit. Yeah. You see the shrimp? Hold on. Let me pull you closer to me. Hold on to mommy's arm. Okay. Yeah, these are colossal. They're really big. But you can get whatever size you like. But again, I told you I like value. So I am a Costco shopper. And you can get a huge bag of these for like $39 and it lasts forever. Hand me another one, baby, I'm sorry. It's okay. so wet. It's so wet? Yeah. Are you gonna try shrimp tonight? No, I don't like it. I know, <laughs> I tried. You're not gonna try them? Why aren't you gonna try them, baby? Because I like vegetables now. You like vegetables now? Okay. And pasta. And pasta? Can and you? grits. And grits, can and you? And mac and cheese. Okay, can you hand me another shrimp? Hey. Okay. Where'd you get the pasta from? The pasta I got from um, Sprouts, but you can go to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, you know, Kroger Publix, wherever. Most places have um, fresh pasta. pasta. Hold on, give me a sec, let me stir. Oh yeah, this is about right. Now I just need to, I think it may need a little bit more olive oil to tell you the truth. We're gonna add a little olive oil. A little olive oil. I'm already saying, can you save this live? Can I save this live? Yes, I will. <clears throat> and I will also put it on my stories so it'll be up for the next 24 hours. Okay, so that's looking good. And let me rinse my hands and we're gonna add the basil now. And then I'll show you kind of what it looks like. Okay, mommy's gonna add the basil, okay? So, this is a nice, hefty bunch of basil that we've added. Are you using olive oil? Yes, I'm using olive oil. I'm using extra virgin um, Italian olive oil, and it's organic from Costco. And no, they're not paying me to say that, but I'm just telling y'all where to go, because it's that's where you get it. So we're gonna put the basil in here, like this. Let it cook down, and I'll show you what that looks like shortly. As soon as we get these shrimp um, seasoned, the can you sub, the sub basil? basil? Can yeah, you know I'm sure you could, cause it's just pine nuts. Okay, you hand me the shrimp because it's ba it's just basil, pine nuts. I think it's like Parmesan, olive oil. So you can absolutely do that. And cooking is really about like there are times. Like right now, I didn't have the I didn't have basil. Luckily, I have a basil plant, so I was able to pick something. But there are times where I may forget something, or run out of something, or think I had some, or whatever it may be. And you got to improvise. If that's the case, I would have thrown some dried Italian seasoning in there, or um, you know, there are lots it's of so different wet. so wet. there are lots of different things that you can do. So cooking is really just about you know using what you got. That's why I said you can put chicken in this instead of shrimp. You can use wheat pasta, chick wheat, chickpea pasta, gluten-free pasta. It's whatever that you would like to do. And if for some reason you don't like basil, don't put it in there. What'd you say, baby? Watch your fingers, baby. Yes, we're gonna make that pasta. Can you hand me that last shrimp? Um, I am wearing Chloe and Chloe and Christian. It's my favorite. It's what I always wear. Um, Scooby, hi Scoobs. He does my makeup here in Atlanta, and he also has a lip gloss line. You know, one thing about me is I really try to not try to I do support my friends and support my family and their businesses and their business endeavors um, by you know buying their stuff because I like it. Like Scooby. 
you know, my one of my best friends owns OMG Wellness, which she does scrubs and shea butters, and um, it's OMG Herbal Bar on Instagram. Like, I'll just go online and just buy some stuff randomly in the middle of the night, and she'll call me and be like, Keisha, why didn't you just tell me you wanted some shea butter? Because I want to support. Did you just get your sleeve all wet? I know that the knife is an upstairs yeah. around Ella. She's used to being in the kitchen. And okay, yes. Listen, I got this. This is my baby. Is She's turning your back. She is know. always in the kitchen with me, and she knows what to touch and what not to touch. So, you guys, you know, thank mom you. police, bag bag, Shawty, bag bag. We good. But thank you for your concern. Can you, why are you getting yourself all wet? Okay, so we have our shrimp right now. Um, our pasta sauce is ready pretty much. It's just waiting for us to drop our pasta. Look, Mama. Yes, Mama. But before Why that... Why is this in here? Hmm? Why is this in here? That's the shell. We're going to add a little bit of salt okay. to it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's perfect. And what we can do to make sure it's perfect, we get a little spoon. This is so awesome. Oh yeah. That's good. Please and thank you. So that's good. So we're gonna take our olive oil and we're gonna do a little drizzle of olive oil because it just helps the seasoning stick to the shrimp. I'm gonna take my poultry seasoning. What are you doing with those? And we're gonna do a generous shake of poultry. Is this a hamster? No, baby, that's the shell to the... It looks like a hamster. No, that's the shell, silly girl. It really looks like a hamster. And then we put a little all-purpose. And then we'll take our tongs. And we can just toss them all up. Get them all coated with the seasoning. Okay, so we have this. This is ready to go. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy. So those are all ready to go. And what I'm going to do is... You said your shrimp sells, shells to make a stop. Yeah, ideally, yes, you can. Yes, baby. Save your shrimp shells to make a stop. I'm not going to lie. I just buy seafood stock if I need some food or whatever I need. But in the event that I need it to, I do know how, and I can do it. Yes, baby. I'm putting two lobsters there. You're putting two lobsters? So now they're lobsters. Okay, so this is what we're going to do real quick. Um, I think I'll do, turn on my middle grill pan. It's on, and we'll let that get nice and hot. Are you sauteing or grilling Well, I'm just going to grill them on my center. I have like a grill pan. Um, but these are really, really good if you put them like on the outside barbecue grill. This one piece of hair would drive me crazy. Yes, if you put them on the outside barbecue grill or if you saute them in a pan, you can do them however you want. Um, I'm just going to put them right on the center um, grill, whatever it's called. I'm going to turn this to the side. Bam. And then, you ready to put some pasta in? Oh, and this is the Parmesan that I you finished it with. It's Follow Your Heart Parmesan, and it's vegan, but it is amazing. Look, you can't even looking at it. It even looks like real Parmesan. Oh, it says, I am the secret ingredient. <laughs> Few people have asked me about this kitchen towel. This one right here. So I was traveling. Mommy, where were we? I can't remember. I think we were either in Utah. I was filming a movie. I think we were in Utah. I was in Utah filming a lifetime movie. Um, do I have food in my hair? Do I? I don't know. You tell me. Let's see. So look, okay, I'm going to show you the bee, the cheese real quick. Can y'all see it? It looks really yummy. Oh, right here? Other side. This side? Okay. I have food in there? This side? Right. On show my me. face? Right. Show me. I can't get it, Mom. Oh, I feel it now. <laughs> I thought I was doing it. <laughs> okay, let's wash our hands. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. See, that's what she's supposed to do. You're supposed to tell somebody when they got... 
And they have food in the hair, food in the teeth. I appreciate that. That's hot, baby. All right, so here we go. We are going to... This has gotten nice and hot. I honestly would like... Where do you get the cheese? I got this from Sprouts. Um, I think they usually sell it at Whole Foods also. Yeah, we're just going to have to let this hair live because this is what happens when you don't do your hair for a long time. Then it just doesn't. It's no longer trained to do what you want it to do. But what I will do really quickly is I'm going to make a quick salad dressing. Um, cause I know we've been on a while and I don't know how much longer y'all feel like doing this. If y'all are starting to get tired, you know, we can start winding down. But I was telling you about salad dressing. This something else I'm doing in my spare time that I don't really have that much of but since we've been home is I started to decide to can because my baby loves um, pasta so I'm going to can some tomatoes because I have tomatoes out back and um, with this mason jar you can also make um, salad dressing so this is what we're going to do we're going to take this let me rinse out my jar right quick bye bye can you Okay, that's enough water. No more water. So, you guys like it? Do they like it? Yeah, my lobster likes it. Lobster likes it. Okay, so we're going to take our mason jar and then we can use, um, you can eyeball but just to give you an idea. It's about three fourths a cup of olive oil to about a fourth cup. I'm going to do balsamic. And then I'm going to add some crushed garlic in there, a little bit of honey to get a little sweetness. And then put that back, baby. This is just my little hamster. Okay. Can you put it back, please? Thank you. Then I'm going to add probably about, we can do it to taste. I'll start with um, about a half a, a tablespoon or so of meat seasoning. So we can put that in the jar. And the good thing about this is when you do it, it'll last in your fridge for a good probably two weeks or so. So even if you don't eat it all right now, all you have to do is just shake it back up and keep it moving. This is just a really good balsamic vinegar. Put it in. I'm gonna take, we'll set this over here until our is ready. We'll take a nice big clove of garlic, maybe two. Have you ever tried the grapeseed oil? Yes, I use grapeseed oil all the time. If I don't use olive oil, I use grapeseed oil. Those are my two favorites. So we have a nice, ooh, that almost looks bad. Okay, nice crushed garlic real quick. We'll put, people tune in late, you want to know what you're putting. Okay, for those who tuned in late, we are making um, a caprese pasta, which is basically just tomatoes. Instead of mozzarella, though, I am using Parmesan. Um, basil, olive oil with fresh pasta. This, I'm just making some salad dressing which is super easy. I'm taking my meat spice because a lot of people are like, well, you only have to use meat spice on meat. No, as you can see, I use it on all sorts of things. And in salad dressing, is particularly yummy. So I'm trying to remember how much. I'm gonna start with a teaspoon because I can't remember how much seasoning I like to use on this. And then we're gonna sprinkle a little honey and shake this thing up. So this pasta sauce is honestly ready. I just have it kind of on low heat and so that we can get the rest of everything. We'll do a little drizzle of this. And then we'll take the top, put it on really good. You want to have a huh? See, look, and it's really easy. Look. You want to shake it? Shake it, hold it tight. <laughs> okay, let's taste it. That's the best part and see how it is. Let's see. Hey, look. That's not bad. All right, I think I would like to put just a squeeze more honey. Look at my little locker. Yeah, don't do that, my love. I'm just doing And then we'll put just a little pinch more seasoning in there. And we're going to shake it. And so basically, then you just take this. And what I can say is it gets even better once that garlic has sat in there. And it perfumes and just flavors the whole thing. Do I like it? Huh? So look, we have salad dressing. So we'll set that aside over here. I'm going to open up. Don't 
Do I like Jamaican? Oh yeah, I love Jamaican food. It makes me so happy. I think part of, I hadn't been eating out or doing any of that during COVID. I've literally been cooking. I'm gonna cook these legs. You're gonna cook the legs? Okay. Let me know how they taste, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on here. I love it. I have a lot. But, um, so I hadn't been eating out, like, at all. The first thing I ate out was some Jamaican food, and it was great. I got some snapper. Oh, yeah, this is red. So I got some snapper with, um, I think brown stewed snapper I did, and it was great. Here, baby, can you not do that, my love? That's not what we do. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Are we listening? Are we listening? Okay. 